Okay, continuing on with this training concept for people with brain-computer interface chips or other connections using Bluetooth. Training to operate small motors, I'm calling this a tabletop carrier. <clears throat> the idea is you could carry objects across a tabletop while you're learning to operate small motors. <clears throat> this is a, an app on an Android. It also works on Apple. We showed on a previous video on this channel using small motors to raise and lower a bucket. That is a different motor. Now he's using the red motor that drives the wheels with the gray motor raising and lowering the bucket is connected to this power board and it's a way of building out our Lego compatible system. These Lego mechanicals, two red motors to drive the wheels and now we're talking about adding one of these gray servos this board will accommodate eight servos they're positional they can go up and down uh, raise a lower a bucket or a scoop or something like that so we're using this bbc micro bit in order to get our code on the micro bit, we need to download it, usually by USB. Here's an example of the code, and I will show you that this extension, some people call these libraries, has in it these blocks that represent different servo motors. So this is called the Superbit expansion board. It uses a Superbit extension which has motors and servo motors. Now Microsoft has developed this coding system for education. We're adapting it to people who have uh, CBI And we're showing that we can add a block on start, and then we can move this block and change the value so that when the car goes forward, the servo activates. We're not trying to determine what all these different conditionals are for, we already know they're to run the motors forward and backward. And now we're adding the gray servo. Microsoft has been working hard to get this coding system to work with keyboard controls. Here's where I found out about this on YouTube. It's under Microbit Educational Foundation. And they're explaining how people who can better use a keyboard rather than a mouse or touchscreen can do the coding using keystrokes. So there's an option. So we're going to be discussing more about this in the future. Probably the caregiver is going to need to be involved in this as far as setting up, assembling the kit. In this case, I use some omnidirectional front wheels so it can turn easily. And I also have a little roller ball underneath. I've got some counterweight on the rear of this to 
add weight to the rear wheels. That's the purpose of carrying this spare battery in the back. So there will be more about all this.